Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have something new for you. I don't know if we've ever seen anybody else do this on their Talaria yet. So this is gonna be a first. We're gonna just see how it works. What we're gonna do is, since Reed has a flat tire, we're gonna make it tubeless. I come from working at a bike shop and have installed a lot of tubeless setups on a lot of different bikes. I've never done it on a Talaria or any type of motorcycle. So we've got our stands, tubeless valves that are Schrader. We have some Gorilla Tape and we have some stand sealant. So I've used this stuff before. We're gonna see if it works. Let's do it. All right, so the reason we're gonna try and do this is because Reed keeps flatting. We don't know why. I've never gotten a flat. Alex, Alex did get one flat, didn't he? Yeah, just one. So Alex got one flat, but it's just a huge pain to install new tubes in these every time and you risk cutting them with your metal tire levers and all that so we've had great success on our tubeless setups on our mountain bike so we're just going to give this a try report back how it goes as you guys continue to watch our videos give us ideas for more content because we're always looking for different mods that we can do on these bikes and you know ways to make them better. So if you guys have ideas, drop them down in the comments and we'll definitely take a look at them. Okay, we've gotten the flat tube out of the tire and we're gonna take the rest of the tire off, the other half, and leave yourself with just a rim and then we'll get it taped up. Okay guys, we've got just the rim itself here and we're going to clean it with some rubbing alcohol make sure it's totally clean so that there's a good surface for the tape to stick on and that's what we're going to do make sure it's totally clean we're going to just keep cleaning it until this comes back clean instead of black like it is hey guys we're using gorilla tape we got our wheel all clean um this is not really a tutorial video because we aren't taking liability for you trying to do tubeless on your bike at this point, but we're just gonna see if this happens to work. And I've installed a lot of tubeless setups. So I do have a lot of experience. We're gonna start uh, two spoke holes past the valve stem hole. We're gonna get our tape nice and centered here. Do a really good job getting it center. And we'll get it stuck on good at the start. And then we do big sections pulled tight. So you're gonna put one hand there, hold it, we're gonna come way out here. You just go back and forth. Get it pulled nice and snug again. A couple layers of tape here. I'm just gonna use this screw. Alex is getting a call. Hey mom. <laughs> okay, there's our valve. You can see we got a nice Tight seal with the tape. Nice, I think that's gonna work. So you'll wanna get your valve on there good. Get your lock ring. All right, our wheel is ready to go. We got it taped with our Gorilla Tape. Schrader valve installed. I think we've got a nice seal. So now we're gonna be super careful installing this tire, making sure we do not touch or cut this tape with our big metal wrenches, so we're gonna be super careful. Okay guys, we got that tire aired up and we got the stands installed. To be honest, it was a bit of a pain to get it to blow up. We really had to get a good air compressor attachment to be able to work with this Schrader valve and we also had to take the core out of the Schrader valve and we had to get a couple of us pressing the tire in to make sure that the beadwood seat Put so ratchet straps around it. Or... Yeah, it's really hard to do the very first time and then it gets a lot easier. Uh, so what we did was we got it all aired up and then we took the air out and the beads stayed locked. And then we sprayed the stands in uh, through the valve with the core out and then aired it back up easily after that. So we are going to give this a couple of rides, two, three, four rides and report back in a couple of weeks how it's going and we'll make another video explaining how, it's, how it went and if we recommend doing tubeless on your Talaria Sting. So we're gonna get this put back together, go give it a test ride, um, but we've had the tire sitting for a couple of hours, then it's still holding the same PSI that we set it at 
when we aired it up. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya. Yeah.